so pretty. There's so many eagles up there. Can you see them? Very nice. Good morning, everybody. I'm back. I kind of did a little bit of a winter hibernation, but um, I thought it's about time to make a video today. So I've got uh, Patty and Carrie with me today. And today we are going to look for the elusive hybrid wolf dog that's been sighted in our area probably since the end of August, I believe. So somebody um, actually dumped off the wolf dog, you know, into the, into the forest. And since then there's been lots of sightings, especially along this area here. We are on the Coombs Rail Trail. Well, actually, it's not a rail trail. It's beside the railway track, but it's the Coombs Trail. It takes you from Parkstow all the way to Coombs. And there's been lots of sightings here. And unfortunately, there's also been um, one death of the dog, too, by Coombs Country Campground. And also, a fellow was jogging here on the trail, and um, the wolf dog came and grabbed their dog, which was named was Gus. But fortunately, the dog survived, but it had like a broken tail and lots of puncture wounds in the neck. So it wasn't a really good scene at all. Morning, Patty. Morning, Carrie. Morning, Judy. So it's going to be a good adventure today. Like I said, we're going on a wolf dog hunt. I mean, I'm sure we won't find it, but Carrie actually put up some trail cam footage. And so we're going to try and capture some footage on there. But like I said before, the wolf dog has been seen in this area. Somebody uh, dropped it off and they actually nicknamed the wolf dog um, WD-40. Oh, I didn't know that. Because it's um, very slippery and it keeps, you know, not going into the traps and oh. then sneaking away. Oh, yeah. So, pretty good name for it. Um, it is now, what is it? Uh, the beginning of February, and I think the first sightings were in August. So, actually, I haven't heard anything lately about the wolf dog, have you? No, nothing. No, so I'm not sure what happened, but there is an agency in Alberta that actually takes um, hybrid wolf dogs to not rehabilitate them, obviously, but like a sanctuary for them. And so that's why they're trying to catch the wolf dog. It's an agency here called FLED. What does that sound? Are fleeing? I, I will put a note right here because I know what it stands for. I just can't remember right now. But they're trying to catch it. And also, you know, people have been calling the conservation officers, but they say it's not their jurisdiction because it's actually not a wild animal. So that's why they suggest calling animal control. So if or the police, if um, somebody sees the wolf dog, because we don't want it to attack any more vehicles anymore because we don't want it to attack any more dogs it hasn't really attacked humans but it's followed them and i'm sure it's terrifying to see you know yeah. a big dog apparently it's about 150 pounds they think so anyways we are going to ride this rail trail this way this way here we go well, the first sightings were down there by the helicopter place probably around august and then we're gonna head down here and we're going to come to the place where when the dogs are taken in October. So you guys ready to roll again? Ready? It's a beautiful day for a bike ride. It's probably five degrees out. You know, I'm dressed in like multiple layers as usual, but you know, I might shed one. We'll see how it goes. I was gonna wear my heated vest, but then I decided that was a bit overkill. And plus it's, it's not very uh, small if I had to take it off. And I, I probably wouldn't even fit into my pack, so. It's a good idea though, I wear it when I'm out hiking and stuff or walking. When it was really cold, it got really cold here for a while. It was minus 12 or something, everything was frozen. So that was pretty exciting. And then all of a sudden, wow, it's warmed up. Crazy February weather or crazy winter weather. We usually get snow in February, so people get excited about now and think spring is coming, but I'm not holding my breath about that because we seem to get snow in February. We're carving over there. So we're coming to Virginia States here. This is the first uh, known attack in October that happened around this area near Virginia Estates. Kind of noisy here by the highway, but it's a nice gravel trail for riding or jogging or whatever. So here we are at Virginia Estates. As you can see, there's a lot of bush in here. There's lots of trails in there. People like to walk and ride bikes and horses and things like that. So that's where the first attack happened 
here in October. I'm sure the owner is probably pretty traumatized about that as well as the dog, but thankfully it, um, it recovered, so that's really good. A cougar, you saw a cougar too? On the trail cam. Oh, that's yeah. good. I'm looking forward to Ten seeing that later. footage. That's, that's scary. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Right apples? I didn't know that. No, we didn't think. Wow. So we've had a few cougar sightings in the backyard. Yeah. Over and, the years. I, and I'm sure you've got a lot of bears and a lot of and bears. And that bear that ate your honey? The bear that took four of my hives oh. destroyed it. That's so sad. So yeah, no, we have a few, and that a few was, wild animals. And that was right after we you did the honey extraction video? Yeah, that that fall. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So sad. But we have one hive. They were flying yesterday. Oh good. So we have one hive that's alive. Oh good. Fingers crossed. Yeah. All right, so you ready to get going? Let's go. We're going to go behind the Coombs Country campground now to where the little puppy was taken from the man. Actually, the puppy was actually on a leash and the wolf dog actually grabbed the puppy and broke the leash and took off with the dog. And unfortunately, I'm pretty sure they never found the puppy, which is really, really sad. So yeah, very heartbreaking. So we're going to go into that area now to check that area out and see if we can see any prints or anything like that. So let's go onward. Okay, so we made it to Coombs Country Campground and we're just gonna go, oh, I'm fogging up. Whew, we're just gonna go through and there's some trails out back and we'll kind of show you the vicinity of where the dog disappeared, the puppy disappeared from, because of the hybrid wolf dog. That's a really nice little campground. Yeah, it's a hidden gem for sure. Right in our own backyard. Yeah. Beautiful. And I think they even stock the lake with fish so uh, you can come and take the kids fishing here in the summer when they're camping. It's a, a really fun place for even locals. It's close but yet they have like the pool and the, this pond. Lots of things to do. The trails out back. So yeah, check it out. Coombs Country Campground. It's really nice. Some people live here full time. Some people camp. But uh, okay, everything I said about coming here to go fishing. Uh, <laughs> There's no fishing. Oops. What'd you say, Patty? Ooh. Cougar sighting. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Judy. Attention all guests, wolf dog in area. Oh my goodness. Look at that. The trail is closed, we cannot go. Can't go? We can't go. The RCMP is currently working with the animal control to capture the wolf dog, but has expressed that this animal is very intelligent and has avoided capture for a while. Ocean RCMP has advised us to ask our guests to keep cats indoors, keep dogs close, watch, walk dogs on a short leash, keep children close, never leave them unattended. Be aware when walking around the property, do not approach the wolf dog, be safe. Oh my goodness. Please be advised that a dog residing on the campground has been attacked and killed by the wolf dog who has been reported in the news as of late. For this reason, the trails are closed until the wolf dog can be apprehended. My goodness. That's so scary. That is so scary. So I guess we can't go down the trail. I guess not. Yeah, that's super sad about the dog. And I'm actually quite surprised that they actually closed the trails because, I mean, yeah, I don't think I've ever had trails closed before because of animal, wild animals and things. Usually there's a sign saying warning, cougar in area, warning, bear in area, but yeah, never actually a closed sign. So I guess we will head off, continue on our way on our bike ride. So I think I'm gonna head into Arrington now. And I don't know if you know this or not, but we actually have a Buddhist temple here in uh, Coombs, Arrington. Coombs, I guess, that's pretty cool. Very, very beautiful. So if you wanna check it out, highly recommend it. So here we are in Arrington at uh, the general store at the four-way stop here. Got some gas going on over there, get some liquor, <laughs> get some snacks, some beer, after all. get some beer. I lived in Arrington for a few years. It's a very cool little community, very community-minded. They have their little community hall there. They have a farmer's market in the summer. They have lots of dances, a real nice rural community. Arrington and the mountain bike trails are at the end of the road by English River Falls. So if you're into mountain biking, even some gravel riding out there too, go check that out. We're still in Grafton. We're heading up towards the Arrington School.
And that beautiful trail back there is going to take us to Middlegate Road. Yes. And right at the end of Middlegate Road, and it's all downhill. Woo! Too close. To, <laughs> close and down. To the river, English River. So I think it's everybody's favorite. And especially everybody's favorite to do it this direction. Yes, not the other way. <laughs> <laughs> to the end of the road where it takes you into the top bridge trails. These are my kind of trails. head over there and just check it out but yeah you can see a bunch of trees have fallen over the years over the bay I remember when I was a kid I used to come here and actually uh you know have a little clay spa treatment so it's super pretty so the other day was groundhog day and on the island we don't use a groundhog we use a marmot violet violet, violet. violet. the marmot's name is violet and what, ha what did uh, violet say six more weeks of winter Six more weeks of winter! I don't know if I believe her. Yeah, look at this. She's pregnant here. Yeah, she's, she's hormonal. hormonal. <laughs> <laughs> Cause this is spring. And, yeah, but remember, February we sometimes get yeah, spring This is true. Yeah. so I just thought that was so funny so those are the the people that recognize me back there but you can't really see them but you can but that was really super exciting <laughs> so thank you so much for coming along on this adventure today looking for the elusive hybrid wolf dog obviously we weren't gonna find him but you know I hope you found the video interesting and I hope you enjoyed riding because it was a beautiful beautiful or well, it is a beautiful day and I'm so thankful for my friends here who have helped me get out of my rut and get out filming again. You know, I've been in a bit of a winter rut, so hopefully I'll be more consistent on making videos. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I hope you enjoyed this one and we will catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's fun. It's fun. That's what friends are for. <laughs> and please know if you have an animal that you're no longer able to care for, please know that there's agencies out there that will take them. So please do that rather than just letting them go free into the forest to fend for themselves. So please do that. There's, you know, the SPCA and I'm sure there's other agencies out there too. So yeah, let's not abandon our animals, okay? Great ride. Thumbs up. Remember to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. It was slippery.